Hi Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your weekly love tarot messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please keep that in mind. If you're after um, a personal reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, the Eight and the Nine of Cups. Eight, nine, ten. Three consecutive numbers in a row. Okay, those numbers might mean something to someone watching. Okay, first and foremost, I feel like you're in a very strong um, and very powerful manifesting mode okay um, you're in a very powerful position it feels like you're especially this week it's like you're a magnet here you're really attracting the right people the right set of circumstances here um, you're really it's like this right place right time kind of energy here um, someone here who I feel like you're expecting to hear from, someone here who you might have a crush on, someone here whom you're definitely romantically interested in. I feel like this person is reciprocating. I feel like that attraction and that connection and those butterflies and, you know, those weak knees, all of that, this person is feeling it too. Um, and this might be someone that you've just recently only started dating. But I feel like this person is just as excited as you are here, especially with the, you know, with the Page of Cups energy. And some of you, I do feel like are receiving, and it feels like it's from this energy, you are receiving some form of contact or communication from this person that feels like this person is going to maybe reveal to you how they feel about you emotionally. Um, they might... It could be a secret admirer, someone that you're crushing on, someone that, you know, you're definitely, you've definitely got eyes for this person. Um, and maybe the both of you have been doing a lot of flirting, okay? You've been sort of flirting up a storm lately. Uh, but I feel like there's some sort of incoming news, like a message, a phone call, a proposal, an offer to take you out. Um, it leaves you feeling very giddy, very excited. If it is someone that you've, you've been, you know, you're coupled up with and you guys have been seeing each other for some time, you could you could potentially be spicing things here or fall, you might find yourself falling in love with this person all over again. Any connections that you're building now, be it romantic or otherwise, feel like they're long lasting. It also feels like someone here is wanting to make things official with you. And maybe that's the, you know, that's some of the news that you're receiving. But it feels like you're getting what you want here, guys. It feels like you're getting what you want. Because it's an energy of you, you know, you put your wish out there. You put your intention out there to the universe. And you wholeheartedly stood by this wish or by this intention. Okay, and you believe that you deserved it. You believe that it's manifesting. You believe that it's on its way to you. And the universe is responding to that vibration of yours. The universe is definitely, you know, it's picking up on your energy. And it's definitely more than happy to deliver. Um, so if you are single, and if you haven't had a lot of luck in love, that's about to change for you. I feel like you're going to have options and choices. And you're going to have to choose because you're going to have, you know, more than just the one admirer, more than what, just the one romantic interest you might even have them lining up here at your door 
for those of you that are active on dating apps because this is like an option it's like a I see like a smorgasbord so you get to choose so you get to pick and choose you know who you fancy who you don't you definitely it's like you're a magnet you're definitely attracting a lot of people towards you and if you are single not for long don't expect to be single for very long because I do feel like this um, new love coming your way and again you put that intention out there for a lot of you this is a love worth waiting for this is something that you've been very patient for okay let me tell you the worth is the weight is definitely going to be the reward no the weight is going to be worth the reward yeah that's right um, it's definitely you know it's a love worth waiting for and you're going to be glad that you waited for the one you know you waited for this person and if you are coupled up it just feels like it feels like there's a particular date this month here that is going to be most favorable and most fortunate for you and i wonder why that is I don't know. Could be any time. I don't know. In, I don't know. In the middle of the month, maybe? Mid month? Um, it could be. You might receive a romantic proposal. You might. Or you might propose yourself here. It just feels like there's going to be a date that's extremely favorable. Um, you might be taking a risk with someone or something and it's going to pay off you might reach out to someone who you thought was out of your league and I feel like this person responds to you I feel like you're doing a lot of flirting you're doing a lot of flirting a lot of connecting um, you're kind of irresistible here I don't know you just you've got all they've got the spotlight on you you're getting a lot of attention um, I do feel like you're focusing, okay, if you're dating multiple people, if you're just casually dating, I see you focusing your energy on one single person though. I also see you walking away from someone that, uh, either this person didn't notice your glow up or you just felt, you never felt appreciated for, with this by this person. And I feel like you're letting this person down rather than breaking their heart. So you're letting them down gently, letting them down easily. Um, and I think you just, you're kind of figuring, you're figuring out that it's just, it's not worth having this person around, or maybe you outgrew the relationship, you outgrew the connection, or maybe this person just doesn't appreciate your worth and they want to dim your light. Definitely sees the spotlight. Because you're getting, you are getting a spotlight on you this week, maybe even going into the month. It definitely sees that. I definitely feel like there's huge focus on your image or your appearance here. So either you're, you know, you're going through, uh, I don't know, like a makeover of some sort, or you're you're working on your fitness regime. You're eating more healthy, or you're feeling better about yourself. It's it's showing up in the cards here. You're splurging on. I don't know, a new haircut or a new wardrobe. I see some, especially for those of you on your dating apps, you're going to, you're going to be, um, fetching a whole new set of profile pics, yeah. You're updating your profile. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. So thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.